So yeah, I want you to stand in such a way that everybody can see. There is what we dis discussed in class uh, about the drainage uh, system. So you have these two pipes. This one, you can see what is happening at the bottom. It is perforated. And then we have this pipe. And then we have the smaller pipe. So what happens is, this pipe is put at the center. Normally, if you looked at what we saw at the other side, you only had this one pipe. So when, you, when it is acting as an overflow, the dirty water will not get out. Are you together? Mm -hmm. It's only the clean water on top that gets out through this pipe. So to prevent that from happening, we put this one, like that, like that. So the water has to come in through the bottom, and then it comes up and out through the, the central pipe. If, and it will, maintain, it will be maintained at this level, whether you put this or not. It will be maintained at that level. So in fact, the water will always be at this level. If you want it to be lower, especially if you are keeping your finger and she keeps cut, uh, cut yeah. yeah, then you use this smaller pipe at the center. So the level will be maintained at that height. But remember, because the fry are so small, she has to put, she has to put a sieve cloth here with very fine mesh so that the fry don't get out with the water. Now if you look at this, you will see the holes are on the side. Are you seeing that? Yeah. So is there is nothing? Uh, so the holes are on the side. So what happens is, and the bottom as you can see, oh, that, okay, okay. The bottom is slanting towards the center. So when the water comes out like that, it pushes the water, uh, it moves around and round. As it moves, the dirt is pushed from the sides. Are you, are you seeing it? Yeah. So the dirt is pushed from the side. As it moves around, it's, as it flows down, it goes to the center, and then it's picked up. So that is how this system operates. In other systems for big tanks, they will put this, and then they put a T here with another set of holes, so that it pushes the water on top. So that's the design she has adopted. You may not find it in many other places, but the main working principle is that one. So if she wants to drain everything, she just pulls out, not, on, not just this, because she may want to reduce the water, drain it out, and leave the, thing, the fish for collection. So she'll just pull out the one at the same, like that. And the, the water drains out. Now look at how the water is getting out from the other end. It's a bit different also. Open this, this, this lid. Yeah, okay. yeah, so this is the collection point. When she has fingerlings here and she wants to collect them, she's harvesting. Yeah, so she opens there and puts a basket. That that uh, basket, we call it what? I'm forgetting the name. Strain. Perforator. 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 She puts the perforator there. So she'll collect the fingerlings. When it's almost full, she'll close here, transfer the fingerlings to some place, and then continue. So you can see it's slightly different and when she's not using it she'll cover to ensure the movement movement of people or of staff is not affected.